this right over here is our understanding inverses of functions exercise on Khan Academy. And it's a good uh, exercise to make sure you understand <laughs> inverses of functions. And it's an interactive one where we can, we can move uh, this line around. And they tell us the graph of h of x is in green. So that's this dotted green line right over here. Is, uh, the graph of h of x is the green dashed line segment shown below. So that's this. Drag the endpoints of the segment below to graph h inverse of x. So there's a couple of ways to tackle it. Perhaps the simplest one is we say, OK, look, h of x, how does, what does h of x map from and to? So h of x, this point shows that h of x, if you input negative 8 into h of x, h of negative 8 is 1. So it's mapping from negative 8 to 1. Well, the inverse of that then should map from 1 to negative 8. It should map from 1 to negative 8. So let's put that point on the graph of the inverse. And then let's go on the other end. So let me just move this a little bit out of the way. On the other end of h of x, we see that when you input 3 into h of x, when x is equal to 3, h of x is equal to negative 4. So this point shows us that it's mapping from 3 to negative 4. So the inverse of that would map from negative 4 to 3. So if you input negative 4, it should output 3. If you input negative 4, it should outpoint, output 3. And since we took the two endpoints of this line, and we essentially found the inverse mapping of it, what I've just done here is I've graphed the inverse. And another way to think about the inverse is if you were to draw the line y equals x. So I don't have my, my little pen tool right here because I'm operating on a web page. But if you imagine the line y equals x, these things should be reflections around the line y equals x. Because one way to think about it is you're swapping the x's for the y's over here. And you see that. If you were to draw the line y equals x, these things, this if you flipped it around the line y equals x, the green line, you would actually get the yellow line. This would flip over there, and this would flip over there. But either way, we're done. We have graphed h inverse of x.